Hi, my name is Barbara Lester and I'm a licensed clinical social worker and I work with families affected by autism spectrum disorders. Today I want to begin to address the issue of families when the person with autism spectrum disorder is the parent. Uh, because there's a lot of information that's out there for families when the person with autism spectrum disorder is the child or the adolescent, but not a lot out there for when it is the parent. So one of the first things you need to look at is how to explain what an autism spectrum disorder is to a child or adolescent uh, so that they can better understand their parent. So one way that we do this is we can compare and contrast an autism spectrum disorder with what we call being neurotypical. So because an autism spectrum disorder is a neurologically based difference, uh, that means that it's different from someone who's neurotypical. Neurotypical means that the person has a uh, typically functioning neurological system. So that means their brain and their nervous system is operating in the way that we would expect in an ordinary or typical or say normal manner. Uh, however, someone on the autism spectrum has differences that are based in that neurological system. And the differences that can be seen are things that really we would consider are not their fault per se. Uh, because they're based on that, in that way that their uh, nervous system is functioning. And so, uh, you know, we may be able to help the child or adolescent understand that there's some things that uh, are caused by this uh, that you wouldn't be able to tell by looking at someone that they have this neurological difference, but they act in a way that one could predict based on that difference in their neurological functioning. So for instance, if we take someone who's on the autism spectrum and we look at things like um, social interaction, then we may know that someone on the autism spectrum uh, may not be as interested in social interaction or just may have a lot more trouble reading and understanding social cues, uh, whereas someone who's neurotypical might be someone who is more interested in social interaction and who understands both verbal and nonverbal cues in uh, social interaction. Uh, or so if we take something like being able to see something from someone else's perspective um, or being in someone else's shoes, as we sometimes use that expression, uh, if someone is on um, the autism spectrum, it's very hard for them to see something from someone else's point of view, or someone who's neurotypical has that empathetic ability to be able to see something through someone else's eyes. And so that is something that is based in that neurologically uh, based difference. Uh, and that ability or lack of ability to see something from someone else's perspective. Uh, and so just keep in mind that difference between um, a neurologically based disability and someone who's functioning in a neurotypical manner. That can be a helpful way to describe an autism spectrum disorder to a child or adolescent. This way of uh, the hard wiring of the person being different in some way that then ends up affecting a lot of different areas of their functioning. So I'm going to be having a lot more on this on YouTube, and uh, for more information on this as well, you can go to my website, which is asdspecialist.com, or just subscribe here to my YouTube channel too for future videos on this topic. Thanks for listening.